Hello gamers and fellow content creators. One of the big questions that I get asked a lot is why do I stick to OBS? Um, there is a lot of other software out there and I do actually even have some. The software that I use for editing is Camtasia which also has a recording option. So what I did a while ago with Camtasia 8 is I did a recording using it and the same video using OBS. I then played them back side by side and you could see that OBS far outperformed Camtasia 8. Like, there was no competition. But Camtasia 9 has had quite a few updates with uh, the recording quality. Um, so what I thought I should do is go ahead and re-record a, a new video with a, a new game that people are playing quite a lot of. So here is Doom. Uh, my computer can handle at the top graphics at 60 frames per second, so there's no overheads there. In fact, I think there's probably a bit of extra room there. I'm using the GTX 1060, the 6 gig version, which is a good card. It is by no means the best card out there, but this is a reasonably priced card, uh, especially for the performance quality that you get out of it. So there's nothing amazing about my setup here. So bottlenecks can happen if you're using software that chews up too much. And that's what happened with Camtasia 8. I was very, 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 very pleasantly surprised that Camtasia 9 did not have this problem. Playing back the video, and I'll play it for you in just a second, I've put them side by side. On the right hand side, this is the Camtasia 9 recording. On the left hand side, I'm using OBS. Now you'll notice that Camtasia 9 is in a window. That's because one of the biggest drawbacks I found is that I could not get it to record full screen uh, in a game mode because you have to tab out. The hotkeys didn't seem to work when I was inside the game even though I had the recording thing on the side of the monitor. So you have a separate monitor so basically what I did is I had the recording option on the other side. Hotkeys were not working so I had to tab out. And what happened every time is I'd tab back into the game and it would only keep the first image. So basically it was just the menu but all of the audio and everything played and I was playing the game just fine. It just wasn't recording it. So I had to force it into windowed mode, which is annoying. But despite all of that, it actually recorded very, very well. Um, I will be adding this in so you can see for yourself. But here is the biggest problem that I have with Camtasia 9. And this is probably the main reason why I will not be using it for recording. Uh, not just the full screen thing, because there are ways around that. But have a look at this. The top left here, this is the Camtasia recording. Now, this clip is only just under 40 seconds in total. It's about one minute long. Um, that's because, you know, you're loading in, you, I've cut out the loading sequence and a little bit at the end just to trim it to make it neater. So all in all, it's about one minute actual recording. Camtasia took just over one gig. That's a full gig for about a minute recording. The next file, this is OBS, 53 megs. Um, there we go, you see the duration is 52 seconds, so it's just under a minute. So you're looking at 1 gig versus 53 megs. Now I'm going to play the video for you, and you can tell me if it's really worth like a full extra gig. They are rage, brutal, without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rid them tear until it is done. So now that you've uh, watched that little bit of gore, uh, you can see that the, the recording quality on both is fantastic. Um, Camtasia 9, I am very impressed that the quality has gone up so much. I'm not impressed that you can't uh, compress on the fly. OBS, you can even go with higher quality if you're willing to keep it not compressed, but it competes with uh, things like Camtasia 9 while compressing on the fly. I mean, 53 megs versus 1 gig, that, that's a massive difference. If you're recording your desktop, it's even smaller. I mean, you can get about an hour's worth of recording 
in 50 to 100 megs because it's got things like variable bitrate and all sorts of other features built into it that's pretty standard. So yeah, I'll be sticking with OBS definitely, uh, not just because of the file size thing, but it is a far more editable sort of uh, piece of software. For example here, I am recording this live, I've got it open in front, I can go ahead and I can maybe add my right monitor on top of this. I can go ahead and move this up on top and I can edit the scene on the fly, I can drag it in. Now this is my second monitor, you'll see things flying around. Hopefully you can see me actually editing it. You can load up multiple different sources, add it on to all on top. Um, if you're running a game, if you're streaming, anything like that. And you know what, the file size will always be small. It'll always be smaller than anything else that you're looking at. The previous recording that I did, that you've just watched, that whole thing, that whole thing of me talking about it and showing Camtasia was only 23 megs big. So yes, it's quite ridiculous. Um, the other thing that you may have noticed is that at the top right, I am checking out the frames per second. I was wanting to see if there was going to be a lot of drawdown on that. There has not been any issue. Let me get rid of that. Um, both of them are running at about 60 frames a second the whole time, so that's not really the issue. But there are a lot of recorders out there like Fraps, which will record uncompressed and you can get your max frame rate without any kind of headroom. Camtasia and other things like that, when as soon as you try and add compression on the fly, I find that the frame rate drops a lot. So I hope this answers the question finally. Should I be using OBS or Camtasia for recording? I still use Camtasia for editing. Obviously, you're looking at it right now. It's just simple and easy to use. The only drawback is that you can't export into 60 frames a second. So I am considering moving to Adobe Premiere Pro or something like that, which can handle 60 frames. Um, it is quite silly that Camtasia 9 doesn't allow it. Camtasia 8, there is actually a way to use the QuickTime.mov which allows you to export at 60 frames a second, but I'm not really willing to downgrade down to Camtasia 8 again. Yeah. Let's do it.